Hey guys, welcome to another Hot or Not Thursday. Today we are talking about three items. I'm gonna Hot or Not three items. Two are totally hot, one is not. Do we have any guesses over which one of these is hot or not or what? Um, we are talking a little Milani and a little L'Oreal. Some mascara, some gel liner, and some lipstick, which I'm wearing on my mouth right now. And Maybelline might have some competition. Let's start there. Okay. Milani's new line with the Constellation Gel Liners. They have nail polish as well. There are three different Constellation Gel Liners to choose from, three different shades. And then they have three different shades of matte lipstick. I picked up the shade Enchanted Topaz and Enchanted Ruby. Everyone's going bananas for a beautiful matte mouth for fall. I can't get enough of it. I really love it. I'm such a fan. You guys saw in my Maybelline Matte's Collection video that I really love the way that that matte lipstick looks, and it's kind of a go-to thing right now. I didn't think anyone at the drugstore would really outdo Maybelline, and I don't want to say outdo, but they are like neck and neck. These smell like cotton candy, which is kind of an added bonus. They aren't as slippery or smooth, but they are still incredibly smooth and gorgeous. And this shade that I'm wearing right here, oh, Oh my god. This one is kind of like the last shade I tried on in my Maybelline video, but it's even more flattering. I think this is gorgeous. I love it. If I were to wear it in this video right now, I think I would look like a big ol' hot mess because I have a very strong eye going on. But with a simple eye and everything else being very simple, this type of a shade actually is nice and you guys motivated me in the direction of thinking that that would be a good look for me so thank you i love it and yeah i preferred this one over that red shade what was it called in the maybelline video it's hot i was really really excited to try these new constellation gel eyeliners in fact i went to two different stores and had like a total idiot moment where I bought one shade at one store. This is the Enchanted Emerald Constellation Gel Eyeliner. It was the only one left. And then I went to another store and I was like, oh yeah, they have a different color. No, no Tati. This is the exact same one. And basically you purchased two of the same eyeliner. Whatever. I keep seeing so many Instagram photos of this eyeliner and I keep thinking, wow, it's magical and sparkly. And for some reason in my head, I thought it would be like a a bunch of different shades mixed together through and through kind of like the Chanel ombre shadows like that it would just be like blue and, and green and magenta like through the entire thing no this is just a spray over so you can get a really pretty look but only the first time so if you see right here that I put my hand over it and underneath is like just where's that color there is no color in it so I found that to be a little bit frustrating and I'm just not, not a big fan because of the color situation. The texture of it is really nice. It is very long wearing. It is easy to blend. You can use it as a shadow base or as a liner. I love that you get a brush with it. So they had a lot of great elements within this product, but the spray over leading you on to thinking it's something really sparkly and fantastic through and through is just not the case. L'Oreal Voluminous Intensa Mascara is so Good. This is a new absolute favorite. I am wearing it underneath my giant fake lashes today and it just separates your lashes. You can go for a very natural look or a very voluminous look. You have all the power with this wand. It's a very uniquely shaped wand. The way that you have this pointed shape here makes getting those inner corners really easy. It's great for lower lashes. It's great for discovering those lashes that are always hidden on the outer corners as well. And the formula itself is just awesome. It does not flake or smudge. I am such a fan. I got the shade Black is Black. They do have this in a waterproof version as well, but man oh man, I really, really think this is a hot, hot item. So there you have it. We have two hot new products at the drugstore. One that I personally would avoid unless you are looking for just an eyeshadow base or a grayish liner. So that is that. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's Hot or Not. Thumbs up if you do. Make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss any future episodes. And I will see you next time. Mwah.